Hi and welcome to Aggressive Health Weekly issue number six. Okay girls, I want you to tell every single bloke you know about this session. But guys, this session really is designed for you. The next three weeks in fact are targeted towards you. Okay? I'm going to teach you in no uncertain terms how to completely screw up your health. How to screw up your hormonal health. So in the future this is what you've got to look forward to. You've got to look forward to osteoporosis, heart problems, heart disease. Okay, a, com a diminishing testosterone level, so that your sex drive just plummets, muscle wastage, okay, lack of oxygenation through the body, okay, erectile dysfunction. I'm going to teach you in this session exactly how you can get all of those things. And then when I tell you exactly how you can do it, you'll begin to think, hang on a second, that's what the majority of people out there are doing. They're completely wrecking their health, they're completely wrecking their hormonal health. So let's begin. Okay, the first thing you need to understand if you're going to completely wreck your health is that you want to completely mess up the balance of testosterone to estrogen. You see in a young man, a young virile man, the ratio is about 50 to 1, testosterone to estrogen. I'm going to show you how you can get that down, get that ratio right down, 20 to 1, 15 to 1, 10 to 1, as low as 5 to 1. Okay, and there's effectively seven points that I'm going to be sharing with you. The first point is this, you want to increase Aromata, the aromatase enzyme in your body which converts testosterone to estrogen turning you from more of a man into less of a man more of a man to more of a woman that's the first thing and you know the easiest way to do that is to get yourself as fat as you can pile down the cakes pile on the junk food get down to the fast food restaurants pile in the pizza the coca cola anything that completely wrecks your health you don't have to be a genius to figure out what that is okay fast foods, junk food, convenience food, cooked fat and sugar, cooked fat and sugar, cooked fat and sugar, you'll plump yourself up and within those fat cells you'll be able to release more aromatase enzyme and you'll be able to convert all that testosterone that makes you virile and strong into estrogen. That's stage number one. Okay, the second thing you want you to do is completely screw up your liver. Okay, if you can mess with your liver and mess with the cytochrome P450 system, basically this system in your liver is responsible for metabolizing drugs, um, excess hormones, uh, chemicals, and metabolic waste products from, from your body. But the other thing it also does is metabolize estrogen. So any excess in your estrogen in your body, this P450 system will metabolize it. So if you can mess your liver up, then, you, then there'll be more estrogen floating around your system, competing with testosterone, making you less of a man and more of a woman. The best way to do this, the best way to make sure this happens, alcohol. Mess up your liver, alcohol, get down the pub, alcohol, morning, noon and night. That will screw your liver up, that will screw up your body's ability to metabolize estrogen. Um, trans fatty acids as well, anything with kind of cooked fats in, that will mess up your system. Isn't it interesting, it's illegal to, give, um, to put trans fatty acids into baby's food, bear that in mind. Screw your liver up, alcohol, trans fatty acids, cooked fats. That's point number two. Okay, the third thing you want to do if you really want to screw up your health, is avoid zinc, avoid zinc in foods, avoid pumpkin seeds, avoid blue-green algae, avoid all the superfoods because zinc inhibits aromatase and if we want to screw up our health we want aromatase to rise up so testosterone levels can drive right down and estrogen levels can go right up and we can become really weak and docile and with a lack of power and purpose and, and strength in our own mind, in our own psyche. So you want to, you want to drive zinc levels down through loads of alcohol. Alcohol will drive zinc down. High sugar foods will rip zinc out of your body. Drugs, that will rip zinc out of your body as well. The other important thing about zinc is it's critical for pituitary function. Now if pituitary function goes off, the hormonal signals that are sent between, from the pituitary to the testicles to stimulate testosterone levels, that will go off as well. So if you want to wreck your health, strip zinc out of your body, mess your pituitary gland up, the signals won't be sent to your testosterone, test testicles, the testicles to produce um, testosterone and you'll be a mess, you'll be a wreck. Point number four, we've touched on it already, obesity. Since aromatase is present in fat cells. And remember, aromatase up, you've got an increase in testosterone conversion to estrogen. So if aromatase is up, estrogen is up. All the studies show that people who are overweight, guys who are overweight are more estrogen dominant than guys who are slim, trim and lean. If you want to mess your health up, get as fat as you can. Okay, point number five, alcohol abuse. Again, we've already touched on this, alcohol, it will mess up the P450 system. 
mess up your ability to metabolize estrogen. Alcohol also rips zinc out of the body. Women who drink alcohol can raise their, zinc, uh, raise their estrogen levels up threefold just after one drink. With you guys, it won't be as much, but it will be enough to make a significant impact. You want to wreck your health, you just keep hammering the alcohol down. Okay? I'll tell you now, I'm not a teetotaler, but if I wanted to wreck my health, I'd drink more, and I'd drink every day, and I'd drink morning, noon, and night. That would destroy your health. Okay, point number six. If you're taking any kind of drugs, for example, if you're taking diuretics in an attempt to reduce blood pressure, just remember this. These kind of drugs can really rip zinc out of the body. Now, if they're ripping zinc out of the body, and the lowering testosterone levels, think about this. In your heart, you've got the highest number of testosterone, testosterone receptors than any other part of the body. So if you're taking a drug to try and improve the, the heart and try to improve blood pressure and the cardiovascular system, but you're simultaneously taking out one of the essential minerals necessary for testosterone production, and testosterone production is dropping, then if testosterone level is low, then that can be a forerunner, really, to, to heart problems. Remember, with all these testosterone uh, receptors in the heart, it just goes to show how important testosterone is. So anything that directly or indirectly lowers it is going gonna, gonna to cause problems. With this particular issue, if you're concerned about the drugs that you're taking, then I suggest you, you, you study this area and become a master of it and consult with your physician. And also, type in the drug that you're using on this, onto the internet and um, look at one of the medical websites and look at all the side effects that are associated with that drug because sometimes when people are taking uh, one, two, three, four, five different kind of drugs together, they wonder why they don't feel too terribly great. So when you stack all of these side effects together, you can see you've got a real problem on your hand, even though you might be masking some of the symptoms of your, of your problem initially. So drugs can really rip zinc out of the body and can, and can be perilous when it comes to maintaining optimal hormonal health and maintaining um, high stable testosterone and free testosterone levels. Okay, point number seven, lack of free testosterone. Now, test total testosterone can range between 300 mg slash DL, that's nanograms per deciliter, up to 1,000. If it drops below 200, you know, you can be in a bit of a pickle. The thing with, with, the thing with testosterone is that free testosterone only accounts for about 2 to 3% of that total. So it's imperative that you keep those levels high. Now what's one of the things that, bout, that binds testosterone up and keeps it from being free and keeps it from exerting its effects all throughout your body? Something called sex hormone binding globulin. Okay, sounds technical, but just think of it as like this. The higher the levels of sex hormone binding globulin, the lower the levels of free testosterone because it's all bound up. What keeps SHBG high? Estrogen. So if you want to reduce your free testosterone levels and completely wreck your health, you want to raise sex hormone binding globulin, and the easiest way to do that, increase estrogen levels. So the high sugar, the high alcohol, the drugs, the stress, all of that will combine together to increase estrogen, increase sex hormone binding globulin, and ultimately reduce free testosterone levels. A study done at UCLA back in 1988 found that the most significant hormonal association with impotence, the most significant hormonal association with impotence, guys, you listening, was high estrogen levels. So everything we've talked about to wreck your health, the studies have been shown that if estrogen goes up, if you're, if you're fat, if you're holding excess weight, if aromatase levels are up, if you've destroyed your liver through alcohol, if you're piling down the junk foods to increase, to, to increase your body fat, and to strip minerals, vital minerals like zinc out of your system, then you stand a bigger chance for impotence. And the study has also shown that 25% of people who develop impotence within two years will either have a stroke or will have a, or will ha or will have a heart attack. Okay, that's pretty powerful information. So if you want to just add, add insult to injury whilst you're wrecking your health, start smoking. Smoking will destroy the blood vessels of the penis faster than anything else. Okay, fear not my friend, because over the next two weeks I'm going to share with you every single principle that I know of to maintain an optimal hormonal environment. Two weeks from now, you'll have the tools at your fingertips to make sure you never have to suffer the perils of high estrogen, impotence, or any kind of lack of hormonal power. See you next week.